Hi and welcome. Today we're going to be melting some aluminum cans into ingots, just like this one. Uh, it's a very fun process, but before we get into all that, I figured I would talk about crucibles, because when I got, when I started getting started, uh, that was the hardest part for me, just finally figuring out what to use and how to do it. So I'll stop talking and we'll get to crucibles. There are so many different types of crucibles you can use, but these are the three that I like to use. This first one here is the one I use most often, and all it is is a cast iron cooking pot that I got from a, the, that restaurant called, uh, what's it called, Cracker Barrel. Very good restaurant, they have great hamburgers there. Anyway, I uh, got this there, it was something like $15. Um, and you know, that's that's really not too bad considering that I've, I've used this probably over maybe 20 or 30 times, and it's, it's still in perfect shape. Uh, and I only use this one for melting aluminum, you know, whether that be aluminum cans, aluminum piping, anything. Uh, this is just what I use, and it works like an absolute charm. So I would highly recommend getting this if, uh, if you're just planning on doing uh, some aluminum. And uh, if you have a forge, it works best on a forge rather than some sort of foundry. But uh, yeah, this works great. Now this one here, I also use for aluminum sometimes, but now that I use this on the forge, I don't use this for aluminum. Now I use this one here for brass. And this one, this is made out of steel, and it's just a two inch steel pipe with a, uh, a cap on the end. And then there's, I drilled in two holes at the top and I put in a couple bolts with some, uh, some nuts on there. And uh, yeah, they're a little loose, but that's fine. And that's just so I can grab it like that and pour it. And again, I use this one for aluminum when I had when I was just using my foundry instead of the forge and uh, but now I use it for for brass now this one here is made out of graphite and this one I use for uh, copper and this one I also I've used in both the forge and the and the foundry and it, it works it works fine in both it's very strong kind of starting to chip away but I've had it for a long time it was actually a gift from another friend who uh, who does the same who, who also smelts but yeah uh, and this one was this is a little more expensive than than these two and so if you're just starting out i would suggest maybe doing this one or if you have a forge definitely get this this works per this is perfect so yeah those are crucibles uh let's get into the actual melting okay so while the while the crucible is heating up i figured i'd show you how to make the mold so what we do is we take a bucket of sand wet this is just play sand, but I filtered it a couple of times to make it a little finer. So all we do is break it up, make it nice and loose. Then we take this ingot mold and we just press it into that sand. And we pack it down. Pack it down all the way around. And we just sort of scrape it. This ingot mold, you know, I just you know you just kind of make it out of clay, and you can just use it over and over again. All right, so there we go. That looks pretty good. Now we're just gonna go like this and take it out. We're just making a simple mold, so it doesn't need to look pretty. You know, so there's a little bit of stuff that falls down. You just press it very lightly into the bottom of the mold and you won't really notice that those even were there <laughs> so there you go now you've got the mold so what some of you may have noticed is that i left a big a large amount of aluminum still inside of the crucible and i did that really on purpose because you want to have a little bit of metal in your crucible for one now i you know i will only be using this crucible for aluminum I know that so I don't need to clean it out and two now when I take something some raw material such as a soda pop can and I toss it in there it's already melting and this crucible has only been in the, in the fire for maybe five minutes and I've already got a large puddle of aluminum along with the ability to melt cans so now now that we can melt cans, let's go ahead and melt 20 of them. Got a little bucket here. And you'll notice that I'm using coal as fuel, but you can use charcoal. 
you'll notice that I'm using the, I'm just on the forge here, and that's because it works perfect for melting cans in this here crucible. something you don't really want to do is you don't want to push it in too hard because then you can it is possible to deform crucible. Sorry about the sun. I wish I could have done this on a more cloudy day. I think you get the gist of it, so I will come back when all these, all of these cans are melted. Okay, so we've got all the cans melted. Now what we're going to do is just go ahead and scrape off all the drops. And it's very hot. But what we're also going to do is we're going to take this little shaker, and it's filled with just simple, you know, cleaning borax. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on the top there. That was a bit, a bit too much, but that's okay, you know, better than too little. And all that's going to do is help to clean out the aluminum. That's why this is really hot. <laughs> Add some junk. And you know what, I, I, I usually leave a good bit of uh, the draws in there because then it also acts as a filter for the aluminum. So let's go ahead and pour this. Okay, we're going to use these vice grips to grab the crucible out of the fire. And we're going to go ahead and pour. There you go. That little tail, we'll just use the spoon to kick that back in. And there's our ingot. You know, we can take this and tilt it a little bit. And what you don't want to do is put any water on there while it's still molten, because then it'll explode. Alright, so there's our aluminum ingot. It's still real hot, but uh, it's pretty solid. So we're going to go ahead and scoop it out. Give it a little bang, get all that sand off of it. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And into the water. And at this point, you can touch it. There it is. One clean aluminum ingot out of pop cans. Alright, here we go. We've got our ingot all done out of pop cans. Pretty fun to play with. Uh, but you know, do this process three, four, five, a thousand times until you've got a bunch of ingots ready to go and then you can start doing sand casting. Uh, and that's, that's a, that'll be a whole other video that I'll make. Um, so yeah, just get out there, start doing it. Uh, and you don't need all my fancy equipment, you can just use a paint can, a uh, fire extinguisher, like the bottom of a fire extinguisher as your crucible, I've seen that done, that'll work fine. Charcoal briquettes and a hair dryer, bing bang boom, you've got some aluminum ingots ready to go. Uh, so yeah, comment, subscribe, hit that like button, go on, uh, go on U YouTube, go on Facebook and type in 809 Steel, that's me. Uh, like the page, post something of your own, post something you've made or forged or casted, anything. I'd love to see it and other people would love to see it. I'm sure you'd love other people to see it. Uh, so yeah, do all that and I uh, hope you enjoyed. You guys have a good day. Take it easy.